Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the init browser on your PlayStation 5 in the full screen mode. And this is actually relatively easy to do. So I'm using the zoom function under accessibilities. So I can zoom in and out really quick. So I have to press down the PlayStation button and then the square button at the same time and I can zoom in and then I can move around the screen uh, with my right uh, thumbstick. So you can see it's moving up and down very easily. Now you can hit the PlayStation button and you can find the accessibility options on here. If you don't see it, press options and it should be under the hidden controls. Just move that up to the top and I just leave this on so I can see it very easily and I can turn on things like, uh, I don't know, text size or something like that or a color correction. But we can go to accessibility options right here. I'll be under display and sound and then go to the right and go to zoom, magnify things on the screen. Very straightforward and turn this on, enable it. And then you can see how to start and zoom in so hit the playstation button then press square to zoom in at any point and then you can zoom in doing that further so just press the playstation button plus square you can zoom in and then you can press uh the circle to reset your zoom and then x to confirm it so i can zoom in move around with my thumbsticks then select x and it will confirm the setting so i can keep it where it is and then it can press those two buttons, PlayStation button uh, plus square, press circle, I can zoom back out. So get used to it, practice around with it, and then we can go on over back to our messages. So let's hit game base right here. And then go down to messages and go to a uh, new message or just one of your friends. And I just send this person URLs all the time. Uh, type in bing.com, B-I-N-G.com. And then you can open this up. And then we can press the PlayStation button now. Press that down first and then press square. And then you won't get it to be like half the size all the time. So I can go back to it. Sometimes it does close it down when I accidentally uh, don't do it right. So I can go back to it. Now, sometimes I hit the, the square button too quick and it resizes the card. So you definitely want to press the PlayStation button first and then press square and then it'll stay open. So just a heads up there. Hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.